Yahoo! Welcome, my beautiful brothers and sisters, to the Aquarian Adepts, my platform, our platform to become your spiritual server. And welcome to your daily reading for today, Tuesday, September the 11th of 2018. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. And what do we have going on in the astrology and the cards for today? Well, we do have some interesting cards that we've drawn today. We have the Three of Wands and the Devil card, and this is backed and supported by the Sacred Geometry card of Integration, which reads, The frequency of integration supports our embrace of every aspect of ourselves, allowing what we perceive as positive and what we perceive as negative to harmonize in a balanced symphony of life. I think this is a really powerful card since this speaks to balance, especially considering the fact that the moon is in Libra today. And while it makes its transit throughout Libra, it's also going it's going to be making a key comes over the Neptune retrograde at 14 degrees. And it's also going to be squaring Pluto at 18 degrees, which might put a bit of a strain on the day because we're going to be of course looking to find that balance and to find that harmony, to integrate these positive and negative aspects of ourselves and really accept ourselves for the totality of who we are. But then it makes this square over to Pluto retrograde, which is course speaking to you know looking towards the future how can we transform our society how can we transform our legacy our purpose and where we're kind of heading to in life now this transit is helped by the fact that we do have the sun today in Virgo so making a sextile over to Jupiter at 18 degrees and at the same time making a trine over to Pluto retrograde at 18 degrees Jupiter is in Scorpio Pluto retrograde is in Capricorn so this is a very positive a moment here although it might prove to be a little difficulty and today is really a day of deep growth and honestly today is going to be a day of shadow integration and shadow work you might find yourself today kind of reliving or rehashing up old behaviors you might get reminders to old behaviors today and you might you know be looking as to how can you work with these energies or how can you really accept yourself I would say that today is certainly a day of forgiveness as well the Sun sextile Jupiter though is really going to be offering you an opportunity to kind of look at your day-to-day -day reality and see how can you expand upon that with uh, sextile over the Jupiter you know sextiles it brings a sort of creation energy so you're definitely going to be looking to create some sort of you know, routine in your life today that definitely, or you're going to be looking to create some aspect of your day that can turn into a routine. And this is going to be something that, you know, you make this decision on and it can be something that really can enhance the quality of your life. We also have a grand fixed cross today that's beginning to form. Mars has officially moved back into Aquarius. So it's at zero degrees. We also have the south node in Aquarius at 5 degrees, but we also have Venus at 1 degrees of Scorpio, Uranus retrograde at 2 degrees of Taurus, and the north node at 5 degrees of Leo. So this actually is going to create this grand fixed cross, which is going to be prevalent for the next 5 to 6 days, almost a week. And this is really powerful because with all this fixed energy here, we are really looking at, you know, our a deeper sense of power. We're literally looking at... You know these areas in our life where we feel more of the value we feel more of the currency because the fixed the fixed um cross the fixed energies you know um taurus leo scorpio and aquarius really do deal with value and currency and power so this is going to be interesting and it's interesting as well because the fastest moving energy in this fixed cross is venus even though it's in shadow period, it's moving the fastest. I think by the time Venus hits 4 degrees of Scorpio, Mars would have just shifted to the first degree of Aquarius. Not only that, but the south and north node respectively will move to 4 degrees as well. So even during this fixed cross, we're going to have this shift of the nodes where they've been at 5 degrees this whole time, they're going to be shifting to 4 degrees, which with these slower moving energies, it's actually a really kind of a big deal honestly the other thing is that Neptune is going to shift from 15 degrees to 14 degrees during today and the moon is going to kinkunks Neptune while it's at 14 degrees now 
albeit it's going to be really close to 15 degrees because it's like the 14th degree and 58 solar minute. But we have to consider that Neptune has been at 15 degrees of Pisces since the beginning of August, from August 1st to September 10th. Neptune has been at 15 degrees. So now we're going to be focusing on 14 degrees, which is speaking to matters of the heart. And as it relates to trying to find some sort of um, balance, because I like to think of four as it, it's trying to bring balance or it's trying to bring some sort of stability. Although, and sometimes in order to bring stability, um, there has to be instability. If that makes sense. If you think about it, you know, a car has it has four wheels, the table has four legs. So, in order to get to that point, you know, there has to be some instability before you gain the stability. So, there's going to be that sort of energy where we're looking for some sort of stable energy. And we do have all this earth energy too. So, with the sun in Virgo, it's still looking to, of course, ground you in your day to day reality. Now, as far as these cards are concerned, the Three of Wands and the Devil card, I think it's interesting because we are definitely looking towards the future. We're definitely looking towards expanding upon where we are and kind of figuring out what the next adventure is. But we do have the Devil card here, which is speaking to potential um, desires, animalistic desires, and temptations that can overtake us. This also can deal with self-limiting self beliefs that actually hold us back from the adventure, that hold us back from what we want to do. Um, and this, in this interesting thing is that with this integration card, it's not asking us to neglect our shadow side, because in many ways the devil can represent our shadow side, right? But in the integration card is really asking us to sort of embrace our shadow today and to integrate our shadow so that we are more whole you know there's this there's a perpetuation of you know neglecting your shadow side neglecting your negative tendencies and you know not really holding a light to these areas in our life but it's actually by embracing these areas it's actually about admitting to our shadows and admitting to um what we can perceive as our faults or our negative qualities actually how admitting to this actually you know gives us our power back we don't externalize our power we don't try to blame a uh, external circumstance we kind of take responsibility for our actions we take responsibility for what has happened and yes there are some elements of life that we absolutely um, we don't control but at the same time we do control our reactions so there may be some sort of reaction to maybe past behaviors or maybe there may be a rehashing of old behaviors addictions um, that you might be dealing with but this is actually a great opportunity for you to overcome them because the Three of Wands is actually very much so about overcoming. It's about looking towards the future. It's about looking towards uh, better days, hope, um, joy even. And today is really going to be a day where we are seeking to find that harmony and a balance within ourselves. Like I said, the moon is going to be transiting Libra. And, you know, it's it's really going to be a powerful moment because you're really going to feel this. You're going to feel this powerful Grand Fix Cross energy coming more into play and as the days continue especially as Venus uh, continues its transit throughout Scorpio and it is in the shadow zone but especially as Venus continues its transit you're definitely going to be wanting to open up to these darker areas of yourself anyways and this actually can allow you to begin to heal these areas especially when it comes to your levels of trust and trusting and opening up to not only other people but the universe at large opening up to the infinity of who you are because Scorpio is very much so about trust as well. Trusting that we can actually make it through the dark. Trusting that we can embrace all of who we are. Trusting that we can alchemize all situations in our life. Trusting that we really do have the power to move forward. We really do have the power to um, embrace our authentic self because Scorpio you know, it's one of those signs where it's, it's, it's kind of black and white, you know. Um, and I don't, I don't really want to make a blanket statement to say that's one of the most authentic signs, but it, I mean, it's a, it's a no bullshit sign. That's all the fix. Uh, that's all the fix sign. That they're no bullshit signs. So um, this is going to be a time where if you try to bullshit yourself, uh, you're going to find yourself having a difficult time. But if you're honest with yourself, if you trust yourself, and still maintain that compassion for yourself. Um, then you will actually begin to see just how your day-to-day -day reality begins to shift to a higher quality, more accepting, more loving vibration where you really have this deeper appreciation for yourself, 
for the overall process, for the journey, for spirit, and of course for other people because we are all in this together. And today is certainly going to be a day about trusting that regardless of what comes your way, you have the absolute power to, you know, certainly respond in a way that is more of a higher vibrational state, thus giving you a more polished look on reality and thus giving you um, more confidence to move forward. <laughs> I noticed that I say um a lot. Um, and there we go, saying um again. So the other thing, I actually forgot to mention this in the daily yesterday, but I added up the numbers for the cards too. So for the daily on Monday, the 10th, the cards added up to a 9, which is Aries energy, which speaks to action and initiation. And today we have the cards adding up to the number 3. So this is about your belief structure. So this is a continuation off yesterday where we're going to start to take actions based off of our belief in ourselves, whether uh, based off of our belief that we actually can get things done. And especially, like I said, with this grand fixed cross energy, uh, two of these energies that are in these signs are of cardinal energies. We have Mars and Venus, respectively. So this is about Mars is about acting and initiating based off of you know, the future and where we want to head and what we see for ourselves and also of course other people communication societies um, um, organizations dealing with other people humanitarianism service and then you have Venus which is about acting and initiating based in opening up to our desires deeper wants and trusting ourselves so this is a really powerful energy about acting and initiating it's a very powerful day of really believing in ourselves, believing that we are worthy of our infinite abundance, our divine birthright to infinite abundance, believing that we really can move forward, believing that we have the power to manifest our reality in the way that we see fit. Today you really are going to feel this powerful shift. And of course it does fall on, you know, that day at least here in America, in the United States, which I have to talk about because is September 11th, 9-11, which is a day that always feels quite emotional and definitely is a day that needs to be healed. And, you know, of course, still condolences to the families and the victims of that tragedy. Regardless of what you feel about the tragedy, whether you feel it's a conspiracy or not, things like these that happen, we are, this is really going to be Hopefully healing this spot, believe it or not, especially since Chiron is at zero degrees of Aries, we have to remember that. So, and since a lot of this is spurred, spurred by war and fighting each other, hopefully today with all these energies, and considering of course that Pluto is in Capricorn, which is, it's going to sound bad, but if you think of Capricorn as like a city and Pluto as destruction, you know, the, <laughs> there's this energy here as well, but... The sun will be trining over to Pluto, so this is talking about a gift, and really what we can do is we can gift ourselves a better future by learning to have more trust in each other and treating each other with respect, treating each other like we are all in this together, because we are all, all, we are all in this together. We really are, and we don't have to have a society where things like this happen, where tra tragedies like this happen. We really can harmonize and create some peace. That's the good thing about today is that the moon is in Libra during today. So even though this might, you know, rehash some people's, dis um, you know, people's dissent um, and, you know, however they feel about certain groups of people, the moon in Libra is still looking to harmonize. It's still looking for peace. So that's actually going to bring about a good energy to this even though it is going to square Pluto so that's still going to bring up some sensitivities but there really is we are really being called into our hearts of course because the North Node is still in Leo we really are being called to forgive ourselves and to move forward into a new tomorrow that is it for your reading today a little bit longer than usual but you know that's just how it goes sometimes I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And if you would like a personal reading with me, beloved, you can follow the link in the description below to theaquarianadepts.com. And always remember, my beautiful brothers and sisters, to keep moving forward. Stay focused and... Yeah!
Woohoo! Smile off.